Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Tuesday to you all. I'm in between readings at the moment and I just felt called to do a bit of a collective check-in. I am receiving downloads like no tomorrow. They're coming to me in all types of snippet forms. So I was kind of hoping if I jumped on and did a video, I'd be able to put these little downloads as what seems to be jigsaw pieces, put them together and sort of create a bigger picture. So it's okay for me to get these downloads and sort of keep them in my head. But when I verbally express them, it becomes a whole lot more clearer to me. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well. The collective energies at the moment, well for me anyway, are absolutely phenomenal. There is so much magical dust being spread across the planet right now, but it depends on what you are focusing on, of course. Um, I've been saying to a few friends who do what I do and I have gifts and abilities and they all agree that we are at a time in our lives right now where we need to pick a path. You are either going to really step into more of who you are, what you represent, that self-actualized version of yourself and start following your own path when it becomes to you being a beautiful sovereign being, full of choices, full of free will, full of hopefully discipline in some types of ways. <laughs> um, if not, obviously the other path that many are gonna go down is going to still be in the injustice of things and um, basically basking in the unhealed version of themselves. So either which way, you're gonna be right, but I'm here to help those who wanna help themselves. The message I am getting at the moment is that it's really important to stay impartial to things. So this could be simply just being a fence sitter. If you are like me and you just naturally just wanna help people and you get passionate and you overhear conversations and you just wanna jump in and, and fix the world, so to speak, um, now's not a really good time to do that. We need to not enable sort of lower vibrational energies at the moment. We need to raise our own vibration and start helping and mentoring and coaching and teaching or whatever you do from the best possible version of self that we can. So don't be surprised if you feel like you need to go into solitude, create your own little sanctuary, wherever that is. They are encouraging everyone, obviously, to get out in nature, go hug a tree, go pray to the universe, enjoy the moonlight, enjoy the sunlight, um, get your feet on the ground, do all that positive juju, do that all the time anyway. But if you're feeling really, really emotionally overwhelmed right now, our main encouragement is for you to, you know, not drown in your emotions, to sort of write them down or express them in some way or get some outside source to listen to you. I do feel like, uh, there's a higher level of wisdom that's being channeled at the moment. And I mean, I do channeling myself and even I'm not kind of grasping the higher level of downloads that are coming in. So it can be quite frustrating because I can feel it in the energy, but I can't put the verbal word to it just yet because it's way beyond what I'm used to. So if you are in the mystical kind of industry and you do have gifts and abilities, just really, really take it easy on yourselves and just remember Rome wasn't built in a day and this is a whole new, it's a whole new timeline. It's like a whole new world that we are stepping into very, very shortly. We are all going through a time of renewal and expansion on a personal level and you're gonna find that either you're choosing to go with it and start learning new things and applying new things and making the changes and adjustments that you need to make um, or you're still going to sort of hold on to the resistance and allow things to get emotionally overwhelming for you, which obviously leads you down a track of maybe trying to find ways to have or experience that artificial happiness, or you become codependent on other things and people and stuff like that. And if that's not you, if you are growing and expanding, you may find that those who aren't as self-actualized as you, probably aren't as spiritually mature as you, those who may be not even as emotionally intelligent as you, um, they may come and try to um, get help or assistance from you. Obviously, help who you can, use your discernment, but the main message I'm getting initially is 
we need to help ourselves before we help others right now. Um, a lot of you may still be in, I, I took acknowledgement of this myself. What I tend to do is I don't allow myself sometimes just to be quiet and just to be still and all that sort of stuff. I, I got the, we've got the workaholic card, so maybe some people like me, I put my hand up, I take acknowledgement that maybe we use work um, as a bit of a decoy as to what is actually manifesting in our reality. We are heading into a time where we are going to be blessed with beautiful unions. So this can be intimate relationships, this can be new friendships, this can be maybe just a time that you wanna sort of get a little bit more social and get a bit more stimulated in your senses, get a little bit more excited. I did a um, thing on that last night, a short or something about getting out and having a little bit more fun. So if you've been really encouraged to get out and have a bit of fun, whatever, 555 on the camera, whatever your version of fun is, we, we really implore you to do that right now. It's really gonna help the energies that are coming from the collective consciousness anyway. It's an upgrade and it's an up level. You may feel it, but I do see a lot of people resisting it in some way. So Spirit really want everyone to know that if you've been praying or asking for help or anything like that, it's on its way to you. But all we can really do right now as this new loving energy sort of steps forward for us is to love ourselves the best possible way that we can and respect and honor ourselves and make smart choices and use our free will in a healthy way. Gratitude and appreciation is gonna be the number one key to help us move forward through these energies. Over the course of the next two weeks, a lot of us are going to start experiencing a rebirth when it comes to love, money, fun, uh, good times, all that sort of stuff. I can feel it. I know it's not quite here for the collective that I'm reading for, but that's okay. I know you can smell it. I know you can sense it. I know you can see it. And I know a lot of you are fearing moving towards it. Um, the amount of people that I've read in private readings over the last week or so, the, the, the number one thing that they've got going on within them is that they've got a fear of success. So whether this has been successful in having a, a really wonderful relationship, whether this is success in money and work and business, whether this is success when it comes to any sort of undertakings that they're trying to do, whether it's losing weight or putting on weight or um, any sort of health sort of achievement. You know, it feels like we've been pushing the poo-poo up the hill for quite a while now, but it's about to pay off. It's about to pay off. And I think that's why I still want you to come back to self, get out in nature, um, breathe a little bit, go into your own bit of sanctuary. So, so if you are feeling a bit less than, you don't influence others by your negative or pessimistic outlook or energy and vice versa. So you can sort of it's not dodge it as such, but it's about preserving your own energy during this time and by going into sanctuary and solitude so you can soak up everything that the universe is showering upon us right now so we can head into this new timeline as bright, big, beautiful, loved, fun-loving human beings that we're meant to be. So that's the initial message that I did get. Look at that. Embracing enthusiasm. I love doing things just to get me started, but I love just turning over cards when I'm tapping into my collective energies. And it just backs up what I just said, embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness, gratitude. I know there's a lot of things that you're looking at your life right now, it's going wrong, it's not going pear-shaped, you're focused on the absence of it, the lack, the scarcity. Maybe you've got people around you that are reminding you of all those things as well. It's, you've got to have some personal discipline and some personal love for yourself and start, getting a little bit more selfish with your time and energy and not allow your own negative internal self-talk and um, what not get you down, but most especially don't allow others to remind you, especially as we're going through this growth, because we're going through this renewal, this expansion, people who may be in your life right now or come back from the past or anything like that, they don't know the new version of you. So they can judge you all you like about that on that old version of you, but you've gone through massive change. And if you have, then even if you do entertain the people in your life right now or anything like that, you're gonna manifest some wonderful new people in your life that are actually going to see you more than likely on a soul level. And that's a lot, lot different, a lot different than those that just see what you can bring to the table materialistically or, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, um, beneath the surface at the moment, 
There's a lot of wonderful things that you are about to manifest into your reality. A lot of you are just trying to find new ways to uncover what this is. It's not a time for it to be revealed. I don't feel just yet. Spirit want to surprise you. They literally just said, we want to surprise you. Those who've had a private reading with me and a personal reading, I feel like a bit of a dingbat because I sit there and go, they're not giving me anything specific because it's the feeling that you're going to have when you receive it. And if I was to tell you everything that was coming in for you, whether it's a job, a love, or a car, a new pet, or anything in the physical realm, it wouldn't be a surprise for you. So the main message that I would love to take myself and to pass on to you as well today is to embrace your enthusiasm, go out and have some fun. I have fun on my own, but I have fun with others as well. Um, try not to seek external happiness or artificial forms of happiness right now because they're the things that we've been encouraging you to release, especially over the last three months. The more you show gratitude and appreciation for what you have, you'll manifest more of the same. That's a given, 11-11 on the camera. So if you are feeling down and out, pray. Spirit, hear your prayers anyway, because you're an extension of source energy. I said this in the short that I did yesterday. This is the download they were giving me to soothe me. It's about enjoying the journey right now, trying not to confuse the fun and joy of now by focusing too much on the destination and what you want as a result of it. If it was as easy to go from one place to another in one foul swoop, we would. But that's not what it's about right now from this moment forth in our collective energies. It's about us showing appreciation and gratitude for all the right things and all the good things. I literally, I just went to the shops before I got back and the energy was thick, man. You've got half the people in there that are only going to pay with cash and then you've got half the people over here that don't really give a rip and are just doing what they do. <laughs> and for me as an energy worker, it was really the the... the Fear of certain things at the moment is really being ramped up. So please just make sure that you're being an advocate for something and not a fear monger or a scare monger or anything like that. I, I respect everyone's choices and the decisions and all that sort of stuff. But whatever you do right now, as the world lights up and the planet gets a little bit more enlightened and we're going through this time of growth, renewal and expansion, please Pick a lane. If you're going to go down the lane of listening to theories and guesses and assumptions and all that sort of stuff, then so be it. But you need to know that there will be a consequence for that. Same goes the other route. If you are someone who's tapping into optimism that it is what it is, um, you're really only focusing on those things that you can control. And the only thing that you can control are your emotions and your vibrational attachment to things and your energy. You can have the worst thing in the world go wrong, but if you choose to feel the best possible version of yourself as you merge through that, especially when it's happening in collective energies that we have no control over, you're gonna get some really, really nice um, consequences and rewards as a result of that. So, because I'm telling in, in real mind, I'll probably expand on that as we go, but Spirit really wants you to embrace your purpose and your purpose in this life is to experience joy. Your job with your free will right now is to understand that and know that and fill your days and your time with joyful, upbeat, positive, exciting and enthusiastic things and people. So enjoy this. It's learning how to enjoy the journey. We do have a time, yeah, the energy is going to go two ways. Some of you are waking up and you're going to go deeper into yourself to explore your deeper meaning to life, who you really are as a person since you've come through this shift. But a lot of you are coming into a time where spirit are going to, the universe is going to surprise you. And you're going to have to take some inspired action with passion. I see a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. I'm seeing all those things coming in and I'm freaking here for it, man. I'm here for it. But at the end of the day, we still need to be that person and we need to wake up and be that person each day. And we need to go to bed being that person each and every day. So whatever's coming in for you, which is going to be a surprise, Tap into your courage and know your worth because it's going to pay off for you, I'm, I'm telling you now. 
Stay focused. Yes. Yes, and um, we actually had heading into more abundant times as well. A lot of you at the moment do feel like you're still in hangman position. If you need help, obviously reach out. I have an array of services that can help you in some way, but most of all, you need to pick a lane and you need to stay in it. Are you going to keep going with the, once again, the fear mongering, the worry, the concern, the injustices and all that sort of stuff? And it's got to do with government stuff, so I'm, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, or are you going to go more down more in, a more enlightened path? And when you do go down the enlightened path, you know me, I've been through my highest level of traumas and stuff like that. I choose the enlightened path. So I um, manifest from a higher vibration. A lot of people, I just made me say that because a lot of people have said to me over the past week, you know, you've gone through, through so much, you're still achieving so much, why is that? And that's only because I care about how I feel. And I'm really picky and choosy as to who I allow in my energy and where I give my focus and attention. And I don't pay attention to anything outside of myself that doesn't have any control. I'm not denying that things are happening in the collective energies that are unwarranted and are manipulation, especially when it comes to energy or anything like that, health, all that sort of stuff. But what you think about comes about. So if you're thinking about that and you're preparing yourself for... D-days and injustices and all that, you're manifesting that anyway. That's why some people get off scot-free and some people don't. I remember a story of someone that came to me and when all the floods happened and basically the house across the road actually got flooded, the house got ripped apart and all that, but their house actually stayed fully intact. They didn't even get touched. So that's a classic example of the energy, energy that was in home across the street and the energy that was left standing. So the same goes for your own life. So make sure you do stand your ground. Just make sure that you're not trying to stick up for yourself and justify yourself to people, places, things around you that are trying to influence you that, you know, it's got to be a different way or a certain way. It's only your way. But a lot of you are stepping up. There is an increase in your abundance sector. So look at that. Like I said, we've got solitude. We got solitude, we got sanctuary, we got hangman, and we got hermit. So we would really love for you to, we would love to encourage you right now to poss possibly shift your perspective and say, I'm not stuck, I'm not stagnant because energy never is. Just say, I'm, I'm poised for change. I've got some lineal time right now where I get to put my ducks in a row and create some type of new plan for myself because it's all going to start coming in and all the resources that I need for that are coming in for me. I just need to stand my ground. I need to pick a lane. Are you on this team or are you on this team? You know, try and, if you can healthily merge the two, that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with being aware about what's going on. It's kind of like when you look, when you want to plan something that's really fun for yourself and then you go to the weather map and you look at the weather and you go, oh, it's going to be raining all week. You know what I mean? You instantly put your trust and faith in that weather app to say it's going to be raining all week and then you might stop yourself from having fun or going or doing what you want to do because it's going to be raining. And then all of a sudden you stop doing that and you stay at home, you make other plans or whatever that sort of won't, probably won't float your boat but I'll entertain you in the meantime and then it end up being blue skies for four days. You know, go and have fun, be enthusiastic, do what you need to do and find a spirit so, spiritual solution to anything that's coming up for you. Or listen to your soul. Listen to your own wisdom. Uh, I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> yeah, we look, 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 look. We're giving birth to new things. There's a new world opening up right now. Look at the sun here. It's a brand new door. Wish the bloody sun would come out and stay out here. <laughs> but um, we have a new chapter. This come out in the collective. Go back and watch me other videos. It's coming in. What you love and nurture and give time to and fully bask in right now, from in the next six months, that's going to become your new reality, your new reality, being loved, being, um, oh, they just told me an almond, but I don't know what that means, but um, all the treasures, whatever you treasure in life, it's, it's coming in for you, but it's going to be totally dependent on what you nurture. And get passion. We've got higher levels of commitment coming in. We've got contracts. 
the same message on a psychic sense has been coming out, so I won't do too much of that. Um, maybe they just wanted me to jump on and just give you a little bit of a verbal heads up or a bit of support or something. I'm not sure, but we really, really need to make personal choices for our free will and our desire to want better for ourselves to step more into excitement and enthusiasm and joy and focus on the things that we're passionate about right now, draw them, sketch them, get amongst it, um, have that as your 80% visualization tool each and every day, even if you're not living it. Some people say fake it till you make it. We say live it like you have it already. Wake up and be excited for that trip that's coming up for you. I can't wait to get to the USA. I think about that all day, every day. I can think about other things by all means. I can watch the news or I can listen to what other readers are saying and I can do this. I can do all those things as well. But you've got to put your dreams and your desires ahead of everything else. And I think about that all the time. I think about you know, all the donations that I'm accumulating that I'll be able to go into the community and give back to the community, you know, who, who may need a little bit of a helping hand. Um, I'm looking forward to, forward to volunteering my time to people because I actually like to clean. <laughs> so part of my dream is to actually go and help people clean up their homes or help smudge and cleanse their spaces or just just to raise the vibration and raise. Now I have so many ideas and that's all I think about all day, every day. Yes, it's probably a bit chronic and spirit are pulling me up on it right now because it comes across like I'm a workaholic. But I'm, even I'm learning new ways to balance out my work, um, self time, and because I'm manifesting a relationship, relationships as well. So don't worry too much if you don't have the balance. What we would love for you to worry about more right now is about how you're feeling and what you're thinking about and all that sort of stuff. Look at that. They just said, they literally said to me, look at the bottom of the deck. We got divine magic and then we also got earth magic. So whether you're thinking you're being sprayed with bad stuff or you're thinking or knowing that you're being sprayed with good stuff, is that's the message I'm trying to say. Um, heaps of solar flares. I don't obviously um, do too much in that, but I think a girl in the universe and my friend Kim, <laughs> they, they know all about this, so I get my heads up from there. Um, and Elizabeth Peru, if you don't follow her already. But either which way, we've got earth magic and... Um, and divine magic, that literally just come out side to side. But it depends on what you're going to be believing in. I'm going to get a couple more of these. And what you're focusing on. You need to pick a lane. You need to pick a lane. Are you going in the... I think I said that in a reading a week or two ago. You're either going to pick the lane of quest, where you're going to start enjoying your journey of your life and start having heaps more fun-loving and exciting experiences for yourself. Or are you going to sit back and watch the world do what it does that you have no control over and live in misery and attract miserable people? Just remember, misery loves company and, and enthusiasm and excited loves company. So <clears throat> yep, make a wish. If you haven't placed an order with the universe, set yourself a little goal or desire. Do it. Do it now. It may not be a physical thing that you're wishing for. Maybe you just want to feel a certain way. That's cool too. Choose it. Focus on it. Visualize it. Say no to things that no longer align with that. You may have to go through a little bit of a dark night of the soul and actually have some solitude and sanctuary to clean up some of your own karmic energy. That's cool. We've got contemplation time too, so it's not too late. It's not too late, all the greens. Ah. Um, it's not too late. Go into contemplation mode. If you need help, obviously, reach out. I'm happy to help you because Spirit wants you to know that there is a massive blessed change that's coming in. Magic is being showered down upon us right now, but do you believe in magic? It's all going to come down to your thoughts and your beliefs. A blessed change. Accept heaven's help. You are praying, you are asking for guidance and assistance and help and relief and all that sort of stuff. You need to raise your vibration through enthusiastic events and rendezvous so you can line up with this magical treasures that are coming into your life. It's coming. 
It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I cannot say it enough. Go back and watch the other videos. We also got soulmate relationships. Great time for love right now. The more you love yourself, the more that you're gonna line up with others who love themselves. Never, never ever perfect, of course. Always works in progress. But if you've been really working on yourself and you're in the best possible version of yourself and you can communicate your needs and desires and wants as fluently and authentically, you're gonna, as you can, you're gonna meet new soulmates, whether it is in <clears throat> um, intimate relationships, whether it is in friendships, whether it is with co-workers, no matter what, because soulmates turn up in so many different ways. But if you are someone that's holding on to someone from the past that you thought was a soulmate, that you assumed, um, or whatever, but they're actually karmic, you've really got to find ways to release them right now. I'm getting a lot of clients that are going through this process, so... It's not easy, it's not easy, but at the end of the day, if you want what you want, you can't hold on to things that are no longer in alignment with you. That's just the way it is. So um, I'm gonna wrap this up now. What am I, I'm gonna do some fairies. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope that all made sense to you guys. I thought I'd just jump on and do a quick, <laughs> a quick little message, but it always turns into the 30 minute mark. Um, you're about to shine. A lot of you do not realize that you are about to shine. If you have had a hidden hobby, I don't know whether you're a ventriloquist, whether you are a really good crocheter, whether you're a painter or in something in the creative fields, um, guest speakers, um, comics, um, entertainers, anything like that. You're coming into a wonderful time right now, but we're going to have to um, make it happen for ourselves. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, between now and summertime, you guys, we're gonna go through some massive transformations, massive renewals, massive rebirths, all that sort of jazz. Spirit want to remind you that you do have the power. You got the power to choose your own lane and stick to it. Start chasing, or not chasing, we don't chase, we attract, but start shifting your energy to start lining yourself up with what it is that you desire. And if you don't know what it is right now, it's time to go into contemplation mode, go into the hermit mode in a healthy way, honor yourself and make a wish. Make a wish because there's magical energy coming in for us. We also got love life, <laughs> love life. Look, a lot of you don't worry about love. You're happily t spoken for and all that sort of stuff. This is a love of life. This is the enthusiasm. This is the passion. This is the knowing that you only have one shot at this life. And you came here with a purpose. Your purpose is joy. Fill your days up with things that bring you joy. If it doesn't bring you joy, don't criticize it, don't harm it, don't hinder it, don't be an asshole. <laughs> um, just go about your business. Leave everybody else to do what they're gonna do. If they wanna believe that, you know, there's a heap of injustice that's about to come in, that's, that's cool, that's their reality. But I wanna help those who wanna live in a reality where there is always optimism, where there is always possibility, where there is always love and life and expansion and joy and new ways of doing things and new ways to learn, new, new endeavors, new faces to um, look at, new bodies to hug, all that sort of stuff. If you get your love of life, but if you do, like me, seek a soulmate relationship, and um, I think the soulmate cards come out in yesterday's reading as well, then you do have a love. This, this um, a, a relationship coming in for you, but if it's not that as well, I have to keep it general because I'm reading for a collective, but this could be um, work that you love, working with people that you love, do, waking up and saying, I get to go to work today and I'm so excited. I might take some muffins with me because I'm an enthusiastic person. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Um, so nurture yourself first and foremost, right, you guys, we are being pelted, pelted with magical energy and all we need to do as humans is to raise our vibrations in a healthy, safe, secure way, knowing that we are that way, 
Um, and then we can just be surprised with what the universe is going to bring to us between now and September. If you do not receive something that's going to surprise you and shock you and make you feel like your king shit or queen shit, <laughs> I'd be really, really surprised. Really, really surprised. It's coming in. We want you to have it and we will be your cheerleader. We will be here on the other end cheering you on. And if you're stuck, by all means, remember, over and buy me a coffee. If you need a quick, quick reply to an ongoing question, um, $5 coffee, just purchase me a coffee, send me a text in my business line and I'll take care of you from there. If you want to catch me uh, after hours, I'll be online 7 till 10 um, this week uh, over on Psychic TV Australia. You can go and check out my Facebook posts and all the contact details are under there. My pin is 9140. Or if you want to book in with a private session with me, you can do that through the bookings section on my website. So like I said, I, got, I try to keep it as affordable for everybody. So it's whether it's $5 or up to $100. So it's totally up to you. Anyway, I'm going to go. Got more um, clients I need to see, but I just needed to share that. I need to get out of my system. I hope it made sense. And please just know I love you very much. Have fun, you guys, and um, yeah, take care. Bye.